I wanted to make this video really quick. It's going to be a little messy, but that's okay. This is an update video for APC UPSs. Uh, like this one here. Okay. So. Just a really quick, dirty uh, video. Alright, so. What you'll need is an APC model uh, com port. That's uh, there's no USB cable in the back of this thing. It's old. So, anyways, you gotta you have to buy this special one. All right, so that's there. I got it from Refurbish UPS for ten dollars plus like thirty dollars shipping. So it ended up being like almost $45 for this stupid cable. You can build your own using a normal uh, RS-232 cable, but I didn't feel like doing that. Next, you'll need uh, either this guy, I got him for $10. It says it doesn't work with Windows 10, but it does. Um, I didn't have that big of an issue. Alright, or you can use this, and this is much easier, and it's only six, $6.88. So I would recommend doing this, uh, much easier, much simpler. Alright, next you need Hyper Terminal. So you just type in Windows 10 Hyper Terminal. You'll find this website, it'll be linked in the description. And then you scroll down, and this guy says you can get hyper terminal here. You click that, you end up here. And then go over and right there, right, you click download. And then it'll download it. Okay? So you need this special cable. It has to be this one right here. Okay? Has to be that one. Then you either buy this or you buy this. But I strongly recommend buying this much easier uh, no issues whatsoever immediately is recognized in Windows 10 so that's fine alright let's go on to hyper terminal alright so you'll get a zip file you unpackage it now you've got hyper terminal alright alright so let's close this up it will give you a ton of errors It'll just be non-stop errors. Alright, so you open up Hyper Terminal. Okay. It's going to pop up this crap. Cancel that. Then... Oh. You have to press yes. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep giving you errors. You just type in a username, anything. Click that. Then it's going to try again with this. You go cancel. Oh yes, <laughs> okay. Alright, now it gives you the option. Okay, so uh, for me, COM7 is showing up. Alright, so COM7 is showing this USB to RS-232 converter. Okay, so you select that. My COM4 and COM5 are down there. Okay, if it'll ever. There we go. See, I got it plugged in. No issues. All right, so that's plugged in. It's connected here. All right, I had to do a trick. This thing has to be turned on, all right? And it isn't, <laughs> of course, because the capacitor died. All right, so now I gotta, actually, can I? No, I can't. I gotta plug it into the batteries, just a sec. Okay, I've got it plugged into the battery. It's showing almost full. Uh, it should say full, no errors or nothing. All right, so if you if you can't really move the battery pack and stuff, you just need to turn it on. It has to show that it's running fine, and the battery has to be somewhere near full. You you can't you know you can't be screwing around, right? All right, so see. prefer to do a test but right okay no issues so uh, there we go that's what I wanted it to do 
it's doing its test. There. Okay. Now, once it's done its test, disconnect them. Okay. Alright, so the input battery wires are disabled, but it's still reading because there's a capacitor inside that's holding. So now we can move the UPS over to where we need to bring it. Alright, I've got it down the floor. Battery's not connected, but it is still reading it. Okay, we got hyper terminal open. We finally got through to this. We're going to choose COM7 because that's mine. Okay, all you're going to do is put none, leave everything else, and hit OK. Alright, so now it says it's connected. Okay, now you're going to press Shift Y or some shit. Shift. Let's find out. There we go. What the heck? That's a new symbol. There we go. <laughs> SM. It was like Shift Y or something. Okay, it's now on. Uh, watch my previous video on this. So now it's connected, it's talking to it. Alright, we're in Windows 10 and we're using a USB port. See, now it's talking. There, it's giving all the information. See? No issue. There we go. Boom, done. No issues. Alright, this is the box that that one came in. So yeah, I I recommend this and it's gonna be the same process for the the card down there. So there you go. That's how that's how you can connect with these. Watch my previous video on this, how to use hyper terminal and a COM port so you can modify these guys software wise. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions, uh, first refer back to my previous video. And yeah, I'll have uh, all the links in the description. Alright, awesome. Thanks guys. Bye.